Welcome back to Candy's Art World. I'm Candy, and today we're going to paint a picture of the arch that a friend of mine gave me the photo of wanted me to paint it. Um, I really liked the artistic angle and stuff of, of his photograph, so I tried to keep it as close to possible to the original um, photograph. You'll see me looking at my phone for the uh, inspiration photo. Um, I used a graphite pencil to draw it in, um, but then I decided to do the sky first, so then the drawing really didn't show. None of the graphite ended up staying. Um, I went back in with a pastel pencil to draw back in after I got the sky done. I used a wet mop brush um, to paint the sky to help blend out um, the different shades of blue and stuff. The wet mop brush helps uh, helps get a nice blended look. And then I went back in and added a little bit of um, a lighter focal point where the the sun that's behind the arch is going to be radiating light out. The good thing about um, acrylic paints and these are golden acrylic paints which are I think probably the best um, acrylic paints there are um, I like to also use um, Liquitex basics paints but these these ones are quite a bit more expensive and they do go a, a lot further um, here I am using the pastel pencil to place the arch back in. I did use a proportion tool to where you can you can uh, measure on one end of the actual photo and use the other end to make it the size of whatever uh, can size canvas you're using or whatever. Here I am working on the clouds. I really loved the clouds in the photo. I think it was my favorite part. Um, I do think they turned out pretty realistic. I used uh, multiple shades of white and the blue from the sky. And here I am uh, trying to put the sun light in. That was probably the hardest part of the painting, trying to get that part right. I kind of uh, went about this painting in a monochromatic uh, kind of a way because the arch, if you've been to the arch, it is silver or like chrome color, mirror color, so it reflects whatever is by it. So in order to make it feel like it's really in this space, I used the same colors throughout the painting. just like mixed it a little more with white or a little more with uh, indigo. I'm sorry, Payne's gray.
even for the foreground and the picture, it was really dark. It was kind of kind of silhouette-ish, as kind of the arch is too in the photograph. But it did have a little bit of um, a little hint of green and stuff that I'll add to the the trees and shrubbery that's around it. But I mixed my own green from the the blues and the painting already and some yellow. And the good thing about acrylic painting, um, if you make a mistake, you can wipe it off if it hasn't dried yet. And if the base that you're painting on top of is dry, you'll see that I kind of don't like the way I started my signature. So I just wiped it off and did it again. As long as you let your layers dry between, you can do that with acrylic paint. I hope you enjoyed watching. Please like, subscribe, and have a great day.